I'm having one of those days where I don't want to go to sleep. It tends to happen whenever I leave the house. And uh, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. But I need to get to bed because tomorrow's a busy day. See y'all tomorrow. What's up everybody? Still another cold morning out here, but I got my first stop off. I'm heading my second one. I'll see you a little bit later. I think it's safe to say I'm pretty tired for the day. That last stop just whooped my butt. But <sighs> they're all done. I'm getting ready to head over down to Arkansas now and uh, finish the drive over for the day. Everything went pretty good. It started out snowing this morning and um, it was like in the low 30s, I think. And then now I'm looking and it's 65. So a dramatic change just over the last 300 miles. <sighs> but now it's time to get this last drive done, get far from the night. Is it possible to complain today about work I have to do tomorrow? So here's the situation. I pick my trailer up every Thursday night, Friday morning that I head home with it. And I'm home every weekend and I usually leave out on Sunday nights and you know I do one stop on Sunday, four or five on Monday, four or five on Tuesday, four or five on Wednesday and pick up a back haul. And then I head back up to Ohio from Oklahoma on, on Wednesdays slash Thursday morning. The problem is, though, <clears throat> the same people load my trailer every week. Every week. The only thing that changes is the different shifts. And so you never really know what you're going to get until the last minute. And by then it's too late because you got to get home, do the 34-hour reset, get back on the road to start next week's load. The problem that I have is mine comes out late every week. Every week. I like barely get home, have enough time to do my 34, and then I'm, I'm heading back out. So whenever I get mine, I get it as fast as possible, check it out the best I can, and then hook up to it, scale it, and leave with it. Because it's, it's from Ohio, it's like an eight hour drive home. And <clears throat> by the way, I live in Tennessee. So kind of put some reference there to it but I don't have time to pick it up and then sometimes there's not even enough room to climb in the trailer and visually check every stop so I get it I go and I kind of just have to deal with it throughout the week this week here's what happened they put three pallets of springs one that came off today at stop six my stop six for the day and the two pallets behind it come off at stop nine and like stop 10 11 and 12 so that's not a big deal the big deal is though they put it all the way at the end of the trailer so when the customer is in between stop six and stop nine come in the trailer and help me get their stuff off now there's a, a pallet of springs here there's doors here, there's tubes and struts, because I haul garage doors and the stuff that goes with it. Hardware boxes, so on and so forth. And, like, I have no room. I gotta walk all, all over this stuff. It's, it's kind of a safety issue. We've had meetings at our safety meeting with my boss. And my boss, I, I do have a very good boss, I have to say. But, um... I'm not for sure that the message gets relayed the way it's supposed to, so every week we're fighting the same issues. 
it'll get better for three or four weeks, but with the turnover rate, because nobody wants to deal with the type of job that we're in, new people come in and they go back to loading it like crap, and it's it's a revolving process. But <clears throat> on the flip side, I did get to where I needed to be tonight, which is I'm in Mabelvale, Arkansas, which is like a subdivision, sub suburb, I guess, of North Little Rock, and so I'm still on track, but tomorrow is going to cause it's going to, it's going to cause some problems. It's going to be it's going to be a headache to say the least. So I don't know. I'll keep you all informed on kind of how it goes throughout the day tomorrow. But I just got done doing my post trip, and um, I didn't I didn't have any problems. But I will tell you what happened last week. I I was on my way back up to Ohio with my backhaul. And I stopped at some rest area in like central Illinois. And I got out, did my post trip, everything looked fine. I guess I got up the next morning and whenever I did my walk around for my pre-trip, I did go in between the trailer and check the airlines. For some reason, I, I always do it. This particular day, I did not do it. I had driving down the road and I noticed my, my brakes. Where's my brakes at? They're not really working. Truck brakes were working. The trailer was like, it was loaded at like 77, 78,000 pounds. And I had no trailer brakes. So I pull over and I noticed that my blue airline was missing about three feet. And it was um, where you hook up to the trailer, the glad hand was gone. And it looked like the hose had been ripped or whatever. So I'm sitting here and I'm debating. I'm like, well, if I call a breakdown, it's going to be like three hours for them to come and replace this. So I didn't call a breakdown. I went ahead and I got it up to Ohio because I could safely drive him. And uh, once I got there, I called a breakdown. The guys in, in Dayton that come out, um, Sandy's Towing Service, I believe it was, really good guys. They come out and within 30 minutes the problem was fixed after getting to me. I think I had to wait like 80 minutes or so, like an hour, hour and a half. Um, do not go to Stoops though, Freightliner and Huber Heights or in the Dayton area because that's who usually does their services and they really suck. But they come out in like 30 minutes it was fixed and that's all there was to it it got fixed so ever since then like I've been a little more anal on my pre-trips and post-trips than I usually am because usually you know we check this stuff every day so I mean you know if you're gonna have problems or not but I got a little complacent got up the next morning and, <sighs> I don't know it could have been gone whenever I got up that morning the the airline but <clears throat> I'm not really for sure but yeah, so here I am in Arkansas. I've got, I don't even know how many I got. Let me check my paperwork real quick. One, two, three, four. I have four stops tomorrow before I end up in Oklahoma. And after that, uh, I only have one stop on Wednesday and then I pick up my back call. But everything is going as scheduled, so. I did not get a chance to shoot any tutorials for the new guys. I, I should be able to do that tomorrow, for sure. I was going to do it today, but the daylight just got away from me. I had I had a huge stop in um, Lebanon, Missouri. They got like half of the trailers, so that took a little bit longer than expected. But I'll, I'll, be, I'll be on track tomorrow to do the first tip or tutorial but that's all I've got for you so hope you enjoyed today's video be sure to subscribe if you haven't already uh, leave a comment below uh, hit the bell so you can get notifications when I post new videos I'm going to try to put one up every day if not every other day I still haven't got a schedule worked out yet but I'm getting there I am getting there so, peace. See you later.